Hey, well, a little bird went by. Wow, that was cool. Welcome back to the channel. Two of them. Oh, wow. That, I'm not going to explain it. Anyway, so, yeah, welcome back to the fucking channel. I don't give a fuck that nobody watches this. I don't give a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck about anything. I give a fuck. I give a fuck. I give a fuck. I care. I don't give a fuck. And the fact that nobody fucking cares at all is awesome. You fucking eat it. Anyway. A can of chicken noodle soup because I'm feeling sick. Sick of your bullshit. <laughs> anyway, hold up. Like that? Good. I was going to thank the company, but you can eat it. Mm. Anyway, so I'm out here in the Florida Keys. Again, nobody watches this shit. Whoever watches this shit, I don't give a fuck. Everybody knows where I'm at anyway or fucking whatever. So uh, I'm done. I'm done hiding. I'm done giving a fuck. I'm done care. I live the most magical life every fucking day. Every fucking day I'm out there helping somebody, seeing car crashes, walking up to people that are dying and doing all kinds of fucking shit. Every fucking day. Sick and tired of having to eat out of fucking cans, eating out of the fucking trash can. I've been eating out of fucking trash cans and off the fucking ground, saving every dollar I have to put in gas to go to the next location. Oh, you got in a car wreck. Well, how you doing, madam? I was just sitting here. I was minding my own business. I'm wearing a Santa hat. So I swear to God, this is an actual story. I'll tell you this one. The other, a few weeks, like a like a less than a week ago, like four or five fucking days ago, I'm out in Florida before I went down into the Keys, and I got a sign and something tells me to go to this area. And on the way, I find a fucking Santa hat. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever, spirit. I'll put it on. So I put on the fucking Santa Claus hat. So imagine me wearing a Santa Claus hat. And I'm waving a sign. And, and be before I cross the street, before I cross the street to get across this intersection, I got um, me and my dog and the hat and the sign. And there's, you know, on my left, I, oh, there's a car coming. And there's a car coming. And then cars cross this way. So there's three lanes. So I walk all the way up the third lane. Oh, truck goes by. I look to my left. Oh, there's a car in my way. I look again. There's another car. So I basically walked all the way across the street to, oh, got blocked. Oh, back it up. Oh, back it up. So I backed it up three fucking times. I was like, hmm. Because that's what's in the waters before it manifests. I'm seeing the waters before the actual physical event happens. So, okay, they involve cars and me. You get what I'm saying? So I go across the street, wave a sign. I can feel the vibe. Vibe's fucking horrible. Ain't nobody giving me nothing. Anyway, so um, I feel it. I look over to my left, and a black car is uh, going at the intersection. As I said, I just walked um, past this one, and there's, you know, this intersection. So I'm sitting over here, and this fucking, um, you know, I look over to the left, and this black car is driving hella fast, and the BMW cuts it off. So it, he swerves, and he swerves, and it hits the car parked at the um, intersection. So the front end hits the front end of this other car. It's a black car and a white car. And they're like both the same looking kind of car, like a Honda Accord or some shit. But um, yeah, it's a black car, a white car. And I know that immediately this is for me. So I fucking walk over there in my Santa Claus hat. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. How you doing? You fucked up, lady. <laughs> Looks like the one chick in the black car. I could just see her. She was unconscious or he, he or she. Anyway, point was nasty vibe. Uh, I don't give a fuck if that person's dead or not. Confirmation. Don't give a fuck. But I, nothing told me to walk over to that car at all. So whether that person's alive or dead, I don't give a fuck. Sorry. I've seen too much to really give a fuck. And I do care. Just not that much. So I walk up to the girl that's still alive and conscious. And I'm like, hi. She looks up with bloody eyes and shit. I'm like, how you doing? Okay. And she, we start talking. Okay. And um, hit her with the vibe. Hit her with that cancer on the 29th degree rising. You okay? <laughs> Give her that nurture. A little bit of nurture. You just got in an accident. What happened? Well, you manifested this event into your life. And I'm here to tell you. And she goes, I was minding my own business. I said, ain't nothing happened by accident, hon. I'm a shaman. As a spiritual shaman, it's my job to come up here and inform you of this. Blah, 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 blah. And she actually got it. She, <laughs> she, I love, I love when people, people's teachability goes up. Willingness to learn, <clears throat> willingness to accept change. Yeah, you just got a car. Like, paying attention now. Bet you fucking is. <laughs> anyway, so 
I tell her what I tell her. I walk away for like a couple steps back and everybody's sitting there at the lights. Like one guy's sitting there parking the car. Are you going to go? Are you going to fucking go? Are you going to fucking leave? Well, go, go. And one lady's like, here, take the phone. And then she walks into the window. I gave her a couple, you know, I, I walked away from the window for just like a foot or two. And this one lady walks up and is like, hey, like this is her out of it. Hey, hey. Like th this chick straight up walked up. She didn't smack her in the face, but she like, like about touching her face and like, hey, hey, you, you, you know, body in the car. And I was like, so I walked up and I was all like, all right, use the command voice. And she just got in a red, doesn't even matter what the fucking words I say. At this point in the fucking game, if I don't want you to fucking do something, I just, ah, la, la, la. And they move. So, ah, la, la, la. And get, get away from her, you fucking possessed bitch. So I get that possessed bitch away from the fucking girl in the car, right? Because, you know, she don't need that shit shoo shoo and I asked if she needed a water and she goes yeah that'd be nice so I walk back to my where my dog's tied up um because I tied him up before I was flying a sign and uh there's a water bottle this one so I go to get it and before I can even cross the street a, a, a van pulls up with this purple bag and it's got a note about the victory church and you're fucking amazing and two water bottles in there and I know that this is like the package I was like all right there's the water and I walk up to the lady and here's your waters it was really cool. I mean, for me, that's an everyday thing. So, yeah, I did that the other day. That was really cool. Um, fast forward all the way to now. A lot better. Anyway, fast forwarding to now. Thank you. So, um, I left here where I'm at, Largo, whatever the fuck, Lar whatever the fuck place in the Keys. You know, here's Florida, like, you know, the Florida shape, and then there's the Keys. So I'm like right here out of the fucking, there's whatever K West and there's um, Duck Key. Well, they used to call me Duck Key. They used to call me Duck Key at Waffle House. So the fact that there's actually a name in the keys called Duck Key, I was like, oh, yeah, they call me Ducky. So I got to go. So I'm here in this town right where I'm at right now. I'm at this Burger King. And uh, I go up to this light. And I start waving a sign. Immediately, cops come up and uh, spellbounded by me. I do that real quick. If you're in my fucking presence. See? If you're in my fucking presence, you're going to get spellbounded. Comes with the territory. Anyway, so... Um, <laughs> I got to remember to be okay. Sorry. The, the nicotine cigarette. God damn. Anyway. Ah! So I sit over here waving a sign, they come up, and we start talking, and, you know, like, what are you going to talk about? I'm like, I'm out here to become a public speaker, I have to go to Duck Key, and they're like, oh, well, you know, you can't wave signs and stuff, and what are you talking about? And I told them, uh, I hit them with it, hit them with it. And it was amazing, because um, they said, well, I can't help you, but that cop came by again, I come by here at Burger King, and he comes by again, and he said, you know, I, you know, if you could park, if I knew where your car was parked, I can make sure if anything happened to call you, and you know, I don't have a phone number, and, you know, so he leaves. He's still spellbounded. I spellbounded the cop. So, you know, like, oh, okay, you're free to go. And oh, he just drives by in a little bit. And I'm sitting over here at this fucking spot, right? I'm sitting over here at the spot. I'm sitting here looking at my phone watching like uh, like Philosophical, which is one a great YouTube channel. Watch that one. Philly. Like Philly cheesesteak, Philly. You and Philly. Sophical. Great tarot reader. Chosen one. So I'm watching her shit. Great shit. Getting those downloads. And I look to my left. And there's this big fucking New Yorker, orange shirt, five years homeless, kind of looks like a cop prison guy, big guy, bald, on a bike. And he's just talking. I mean, he's, oh, that's a nice car. What do you got? Starts talking about his poetry and how he's been arrested 108 times or some stupid shit. And I'm sitting over here like, this guy's aggressive, but I let him talk. I let him talk for five minutes and he was sitting there talking about his writing, his poetry. And I tried to say something and he fucking crushed it, belittle it. Like he, I was going to say something and he crushed it be little lit and threw it out and i'm sitting here looking through this fucking car window right here with my ha hand like this blocking the sunlight watching this motherfucker talk 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 talking about how he's a fucking genius and he's the smartest man fucking alive and how he's, he he knows everything yet you're fucking homeless i got a car and you got a bike in comparison so like anyway i let him talk and my heart starts fucking hurting because this dude's just a fucking narcissistic sociopath just talking i'm just led here to fucking attack me and he gets to a point where he said, you know what? I could give you my, um, my poetry and you could make millions. 
I could give you that. You can make some of that money. And I was like, well, I got my own thing. What the fuck you got going on? And I said, well, I'm going to be a pu- public speaker. And he goes, well, what the fuck is that about? And he like, he just, well, oh, public speaker? What the fuck's that even mean? And I say, and I, I just put my hand, got my hand right. I'm not going to do it as loud because I'm in a parking lot. But I got my hand right here on the fucking side. And I just look for it. I say, get the fuck away from me. And I scream it. I got to do it. But I say, get the fuck away from me. And I, I hit him with it. I watched this dude pick up his bike. You ever heard of you ever heard of Hammond? You, you ever you ever heard of Hammond? And he, he rode up. <laughs> I was like, because when I fucking say something, I don't just. I'm about to get out and beat the shit out of you. I got a six foot stick right here. I'm about to beat the fuck out of you if you don't give me the fuck away. So it was really cool because it was a good moment. Because he's sitting there, spellcast, spellcast. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, public speaking. That's bullshit. That's dumb. What the fuck is that? I said, get the fuck away. Oh, he got the fuck away. I went back inside. I saw him inside the fucking. Burger King, he sat in here. I went to the bathroom, got a water, looked at the phone. The video by Philosophical was like 1027, and I was, it was like 1207 the time. And I was like, yeah, because I, and my thought was, should I go talk to this guy and tell him what the fuck he did? Yeah, it should. So I paused it, walked outside, walked into the, walked out of the bathroom, walked up to the guy, and I was like, hey. And he like looks up, because I walked right in his presence, and I was like fucking staring at him like, I was staring at him like, Like, I'm beaming it on him. He looks up. Oh, I'm just, I'm a nice sociopath now. And I was like, listen, dude, you don't know who the fuck I am. I've hopped over airport fences. I've seen fucking God. I give him a fucking quick streak of all the fucking things I did in three seconds or less. I said, you better turn that shit off. You're going to get hit by a fucking bus. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? Next time you walk up to a motherfucker and start blowing all, blowing all that fucking negative shit on him, better watch yourself because you're going to get hit by a fucking bus or a truck. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Like, he gave a bunch of speeches of all the people he fought and all this shit didn't stand up to me anyway so i aced that sociopath that was fun good Eat. i'm tired of all these psychopaths why can't i have one person in my life that's awesome anyway i'm happy because i got me talk about narcissist sociopath i know it comes off that way but sorry i just haven't been able to be in a lovey-dovey state without someone trying to stab me in the heart anyway so that happened that happened, and then I left here and parked my car and started walking. And I started walking because I told the cop, I'm making it to Duck Key if I I had no gas, and I need a gas to go to Duck Key, and I'm going to go no matter what. So 36-mile fucking hike through with shoes with, no, with fucking holes in them, shoes with fucking holes in them, no fucking problem. So I get the fucking hiking bag, I get my fucking shoes, start hiking. I make it so many miles on the road, take a, take a little break on the side of the interstate, lay down in bed, I don't give a fuck. I start sleeping right there on the side of the interstate. That cop comes back, the same cop. There's the round number three. And uh, we talking and talking, and he's like, you know, if you could get a couple bucks, you could just get like a bus ticket. And I was like, well, you know, officer, that's what I was trying to do, was get a couple bucks, because that's really all I needed for gas. And he goes, well, let me, uh, let me go see if I got a couple bucks in the car. <laughs> and he goes back to his car and gets me $4. So I waved a sign for money. A cop pulls me over. In the end, after three tries, I get that cop's money. <laughs> Spellcast. Anyway, so yeah, that was cool. So I, came, I walked back here, which I did not want to hike 36 miles, but no one's going to stop me from doing whatever the fuck I got to do. That's a fact. Anyway, so I hike the 36 miles. Oh, not the hike the 36 miles. I come back, get my car, and I drive out there, and I drive out there, and I get to a point, a uh, duck key, and I stay around for a little bit and play around. Ha, ha, ha. And mm, nothing that's big. So I leave and keep going in that direction towards West, K, K West. or K, I don't want to say Kanye West, but you know what the fuck I'm saying. Key West. Sorry, Key West. All the way to the Key West. Trying to head to Key West. And I'm at a fucking spot where I got no money, and I meet a guy. I'm walking down the street. I'm out of money. And there's this, like, tweaker crackhead. But he's got a nice vibe. He's got a nice vibe, right? Offers me some Texas toast in, a, in the box, like microwaved or some shit. And uh, I, I quit smoking, but he has my favorite pack of cigarettes right there. So, a little here. So I smoke a cig. We go out. He puts five bucks in the tank. I drive him to a couple locations. One of them, which is a drug deal, gets his crack. I know where this is going. He gets his crack. We go back to his spot. He smokes some. He keeps trying to offer it to me. I'm like, I'm good, buddy. 
I drink two beers, smoke cigarettes. As far as you're going with me, buddy. I don't even want to smoke the weed with you. I, don't, I ain't doing that crap. And this dude tells me that his he just buried his son like three weeks ago. Mom's dead and his son's dead. Like, son died 38. And he's like 61 years old. This dude's like 61 years old. He's a mechanic. And he's he goes around and fixes cars. So he's going to, I'm driving around to get money. And, you know, in the end, I got 15 bucks in gas. And I'm not trying to cheat this guy out of anything. I actually am trying to help you. It's a mutual help. But I start noticing this motherfucker trying to play games with me. Start playing games with me. And he's like, let me tell you something. I'm going to teach you. Just like my, he said, I'm going to teach you. Uh, I'm going to make you like my kid right now. And I remember we were in the car ride a little bit later. And, and I felt his challenges. And I said, oh, yeah? I'm going to treat me like your kid. You mean the one that's dead? You, like the one that's dead. And then he said, oh, man, when you got gas in the tank, don't you, boy? I said, yeah, you got to put bait on a hook, don't you? You get that? You, you got to put bait on a hook. If You get what I'm saying? You need to put bait on the hook. I know what the fuck you're doing. But I still drove him to his uh, job site, and he's sitting there talking about, I can get a taxi any minute. And we and we were sitting there, and he goes, hey, big, and he calls himself big guy. Hey, big guy. You know why he calls himself big guy? Because he calls everybody else big guy. You know why? Because he's not a big guy. He said, my name's big guy. But then I watch him talk to other people that he's, hey, big guy, come here, hey. No, you little bitch. And you call him big guy. You you call yourself big guy, but you ain't a big guy. The reason why you think that whole concept is that you use it and throw it on people to make them feel good. Hey, big guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a little bit off that fire. Yeah, eat what you want. Oh, yeah, fuck. fuck you. Fuck you. So right through this dude's game. So he's sitting there talking and he got so demonic. I'm sitting there at this job site with him and he's sitting there going, said something about, can your dog, he said, stop bouncing the ball. And I'm like over here, like, you just don't want me to have, and he also said, don't be doing that laughing shit near these boys. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, that's, you don't want me to laugh. And you don't want me to bounce this ball. Eat dick. Bum, bum. I heard too bad. I don't know if you can hear it, but bum, bum. eat dick. And so at that point, he said something about my dog swimming. He, he, he spell casted my dog to die. He literally spell casted. I said, oh, yeah? Okay. Well, have a good one. I'm leaving right now. And he goes, no, what are you doing? No, no. No, here, you can have that beer. You can have that beer. I said, you want to take that beer before I leave? You want to take that beer before? No, it's all you. You want to take that beer before I leave? And he took that beer because he knew you ain't guy. I, I took the bait right off that fucking hook. Got away with it. And I tried helping you out. I was going to give you rides, do whatever. I didn't even mind that you kept offering me crack. I didn't mind all that shit. I didn't mind. If, I mean, I even, okay, I'm treating like your kid, the one that's dead. Yeah, anti-spell. Oh, but now you're threatening to kill my dog. All right, so fucking left that dude. And uh, what happened after that? <laughs> well, that was really the main thing. Oh, yeah, and then I went to fucking Duck Key again with the gas. I went back to Duck Key. It's million-dollar homes. It's an island on the Keys. Every home's million dollars. I went to the restaurant. They have like a machine, like a robot server. Like a little robot that serves your food. Like it's fucking too fucking fancy. It's too fancy. And everybody's miserable. And I was trying to find if I could do a speech here. All I want to do is find a speech. Somebody let listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm good. I'll do it anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. I just can't walk into a place with a bunch of kids and start talking. You know what I'm saying? Because that is kind of rude. Hey, oh, what's up? Your lives are fucked. I can't do that. Good. Anyway, point is, <laughs> I go to Duck Key, right? So I'm in Duck Key, and I park, and I have a feeling to go to the very, very, very nice hotel. Very nice hotel. I'm talking about very nice hotel. They have fans that are like, just don't do anything, but they're fancy. And it's so stupid. They're like fan machines that, there's like three of them in a row that, they're like copper pages. <laughs> it's so stupid. Anyway, so I'm fucking there, and, um, I feel like going swimming. So I go back to the car. I get my swim trunks on. I said, I want to go swimming and get the fuck out of here. So I go over there and I go up to the swimming pool. And I look to my right and there's a dude with a big hat. And I go, yeah, I want a towel. So I walk up. I said, hey, you know where I can get a towel? He goes, you got a band on? I go, oh, no, I don't got a band on. Like, oh, so you're not here at the hotel? I was like, no, nah, not really. And then he's like, oh, yeah, well, I you know, can't help you there because, you know, you got to, you know, obviously. But I was trying to sneak in. But the point is, I asked for a towel and then you questioned me. And I answered your questions. And then I, I was like, okay, I'll just leave. That's fine. And then he said, um, even though I already decided to leave, 
And he said, and it, out of nowhere, like I'm walking away. He's like, okay, whatever. I, I said, I tried my best. That's okay. I'm going to go. And he goes, yeah, by the way, and if you try to sneak around and get back in, we're going to know. And I look back and I go, yeah, I hear your threats. It's not a threat. It's just how it is. Oh, so guess what I did? Ran around, threw my sh- clothes and shoes all on the ground and jumped in that fucking pool. <laughs> Eat it. And then I got out of the pool. And I walked right back up to where that guy was, obviously soaking wet. And I opened a door for three gentlemen to walk through who were mesmerized again. And I looked over at him, and he didn't say shit. Because that's just the way it is. Love you guys. (laughs) I said pause, damn it.